Hello and welcome to BI Samurai channel. In this video, we will show you how to import and use Google Fonts in your Power BI reports. We will also discuss about using Google Fonts such as having access to a wide range of font options. So, Google Fonts is a free and easy to use service that offers a vast collection of open source fonts. By using Google Fonts, in Power BI, you can create a consistent look and feel across your report, improve the readability of your text, and even make your report stand out with unique and creative font option. In this video, we will walk you through the step and of improving and using Google Fonts in your Power BI reports, and also demonstrate how to apply them to your visualization. So. If you want to take your Power BI reports to the next level, join us in this tutorial on using Google Fonts in Power BI. So let's get started. As you can see here, we have the table from all the font name from Google. Here is it. And now we need to create an HTML CSS viewer. So we can see our page. Let's create a new measure. So let's call this measure as example font measure. And inside her, we need to create our HTML. So let's create a title of our page that we name it um, uh, font Google in Power BI as example. And let's close the tag. It's important to close in tags. Okay. And now let's create a subtitle uh, with can show our font family. So let's create H2 and let's text. This is our font and let's close it. So now we have our page here. Let's see the results. We can create here and call our font measure. And here is the results okay let's get some zoom here to see it really so now we will create our variable that we can call all the fonts from the data table that we have so let's start with var and uh, name it our font as example and get the value from it. Selected value, we need to select the value. Sorry, here. Here is the selected value and Google Fonts and let's get the font here and return our value. Now we have created our variable. Now let's get create our link who can call the Google font from Google. Okay. Let's start here with link real sheets and let's create inside this link that Google gave us. So this step is to call the, the font from Google. Okay, you can create your 
font and call it like example uh, there is an actor name font we can create actor here and we can easily call it from google but now we need to call all the google font okay and to do this we need to call our variable here so let's now replace the font name by our dynamic font variable by using double and percent so let's do double quotes and double and percent okay and get our name here now the ampersand is a concatenation operator used to join two or more strings of text or values. It is used to create a new text string by combining multiple text, string or value, and also add separators and create dynamic labels for your reports. In this case, we will use it to call our dynamic font name and link. So here is it. And now we need to call our style in the HTML. Now we have two methods to do this. The first is to create a style tags and inside it we can create uh, our style or we can do it with inline style and we will see uh, both of them. Let's start with the first by creating style tag. Let's create style tag and inside her create for each one and give it a color red as example. So now we have an each one with color red. Let's see the result now. Here is it. Now we will create and call our font from the Google fonts. So let's see the second method. Let's go to create the style inside the first uh, tag of uh, of H2. So let's here create font family and here we need to call our font name that is it here in our variable but we need to use the ampersand okay and let's call it also here to get our name of fonts so now let's get to see our result in front. And here is it. We can choose what font we want and it change dynamically. So, in conclusion, using Google Fonts in Power BI is a great way to enhance the look and feel of your reports. With a vast collection of open source fonts available, you can easily create a consistent branding and improve the readability of your reports. One of the key advantages of using Google Fonts is that it allows you to choose from a wide range of unique and creating font options that aren't available in the default Power BI font library. This can help make you to your report stand out and grab the attention of your audience. So thank you for watching this tutorial and we hope it was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Power BI tips and tutorials.